my own brother Ron had cast a golden calf they were worshiping. My brothers from the tribe of Levi put on their swords and 3,000 died. Yahweh gave me the commands again. If we would only obey them. If we could only love him. If we could only do what he has said. I wrote this song to Yahweh. A habitation thou. Thou hast been to us in generation and generations. Before mountains were brought forth, and thou dost form the earth and the world, even from the ages unto the ages, thou art Elohim. Thou turnest man into a bruised thing, and sayest, Turn ye back, you sons of men. For a thousand years in thine eyes are as yesterday. For it passeth on, yea, a watch by night. Thou hast inundated them, they are asleep. In the morning as grass, he changeth. In the morning it flourisheth and hath changed. At evening it is cut down and hath withered. For we were consumed in thine anger and in thy fury. We have been troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee. Our hidden things are the light of thy face. For all our days pined away in thy wrath. We consumed our years as a meditation. Days of our years, and them are seventy years. And if by reason of might eighty, yet is there enlargement, labor, and vanity. For it hath been cut off hastily, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger, and according to thy fear, thy wrath, to number our days aright, let us know. And we bring the heart to wisdom. Turn back, O Yahweh, until when? Repent concerning thy servants. Satisfy us at morn with thy kindness, and we sing and rejoice all our days. Cause us to rejoice according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, the years we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants and thine honor on their sons, and let the pleasantness of Yahweh our God be upon us, and the work of our hands establish us. Yea, the work of our hands establish it. In the wilderness, I wrote the book of beginnings. In the beginning, Yahweh created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form, and void and darkness ruled upon the face of the deep. I wrote of Methuselah, his life nearly a thousand years was only as a day with Yahweh. The man who has lived longest was only as a day with Yahweh. I wrote of no. How evil the world had become. And the heart of man turned toward evil always. How Yahweh saved Noah and his family, eight souls. If we could only learn to love the Lord, Adonai. With all our heart, 
with all our soul, with all our might. The commands are these. I am Yahweh, thy God, who hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of a house of servants. Thou hast no other gods before me. Thou dost not make to thyself a graven image or any likeness which is in the heavens above or which is in the earth beneath or which is in the waters under the earth. Thou dost not bow thyself to them nor serve them, for I, Yahweh, thy God, am a zealous God charging iniquity of fathers on sons on the third generation and on the fourth of those hating me and doing kindness to thousands of those loving me and keeping my commands. Thou dost not take the name of Yahweh thy God for a vain thing, for Yahweh acquitteth not him who taketh up his name for a vain thing. Remember the Sabbath day to sanctify it. Six days thou dost labor and hast done all thy work, and the seventh day is a Sabbath to Yahweh thy God. Thou dost not do any work, thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy manservant and thy handmaid and thy cattle and thy sojourner who is with thy gates. For six days hath Yahweh made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them. Resteth in the seventh day. Therefore hath Yahweh blessed the Sabbath day and doth sanctify it. Honor thy father and thy mother, so that thy days are prolonged on the ground which Yahweh thy God has given to thee. Thou dost not be a manslayer. Thou dost not commit adultery. Thou dost not steal. Thou dost not answer against thy neighbor a false testimony. Thou dost not desire the house of thy neighbor. Thou dost not desire the wife of thy neighbor or his manservant or his handmaid or his ox or his donkey or anything which is thy neighbor's. People heard these words. They stood far off because they feared the wrath of Yahweh. <coughs> and he Mana, what is it? It fell upon the ground as the dew. It was white like coriander seed, almost like a pearl. They would gather it, and there was always enough. <laughs> then they complained that they did not have meat. There is a quail in my land. It flies very low. I remember so well. I went to Yahweh. Yahweh, they, thy people, they are demanding meat. <coughs> what should we do? 